James Jim Valian grew up in tiny Panama, Oklahoma. Valian was very familiar with the meaning of hard work. His father was a coal miner who put in long hours to keep his large family fed. And Jim learned early in life that passion can take you pretty much anywhere. His passion for 4-H took him straight to OSU through an unlikely benefactor. He went to school on a $50 pig scholarship. And that, that pig helped all of us to see what we could do. If he could do it, we could do it. Valiant's introduction to OSU was one of many firsts. The first for indoor plumbing, the first time to have his own bed, and the first of the Valiants to attend college. He lived in the athletic dorms where he became friendly with many of the athletes. And it was there he developed a lifelong affinity for OSU basketball. Of course, his scholarship only went so far, but some sage advice foreshadowed a future that no one could have imagined. Valian's job as a cashier in university dining not only allowed him to befriend the basketball players who came through the line, but it also served as an important introduction to his future career and business partner, assistant basketball coach, Gene Smelser. Jim has a, has a great work ethic. He's a hard worker. Oh, uh, he uh, believes uh, if the project is gonna be successful, that he has to get involved in the project. With a little dining experience under his belt, Valian tackled the next stage of the restaurant business, managing Smelser's Stillwater Eatery, the townhouse. In 1959, after completing his bachelor's and master's degrees and the openings of several other Stillwater establishments, Valian and Smelser decided to move their restaurant business to Oklahoma City. Val Jean's restaurants were born, and with them, Valian continued his lifelong quest to educate the rest of his family and others. He wanted everybody to be educated. Uh, that was his, seemed like his goal in life was to educate the world. And so uh, we have uh, a doctor in the family. We all got educated. And then he, he wanted to go on and, and help other kids get educated. He wants everybody to be educated so they can support themselves and just be better individuals and to be happy individuals. In order to help educate those around him, Valian had to make his own mark, and he did in a big way. Val Jeans took Oklahoma City by storm, and for five decades, Valian and Smelser dominated the city's restaurant industry with bistros like Top of the Mall, Sidewalk Cafe, El Zicolo, Herman Seafood, The Hungry Peddler, and Jack B. Nimbles. In true Valian fashion, Jim led by example. In 1980, Valian left the restaurant business to take on a new passion, flowers. After years of a successful relationship between Troctus Flowers and Val Jeans, the Trocta family decided to retire and sell. Valian was ready for a new adventure, and nearly four decades later, that adventure continues as owner of Troctus Flowers. And so does his insistence on pitching in. Uh, Mr. Valian is easy to work for because he has a very laid-back attitude. Uh, he's warm and friendly to everyone. I mean, you can see it with his customer clientele. Uh, he knows many of his customers by first name and they know him well. Uh, he's not a watch-and-see guy or anything. He wants to be in the middle of what's going on. He will find something he can do or help you with. If he can't find a specific chore that needs to be done, he'll grab a broom and sweep the floor. At age 86, Valian still makes it into work on a daily basis. When he shows up, he's always representing his beloved Oklahoma State University. His OSU pride is evident in his favorite color. Well, I think Jim deserves to be inducted into the OSU Hall of Fame because if he could clad himself in orange and paint himself orange, he would go around in public orange. 
he bleeds orange, he wears orange, uh, his closet is orange, his house is orange, his Christmas is orange. Uh, he's the funniest guy I've ever met because uh, he surprises me with orange on that I would never have even dreamt uh, possible sometimes. Uh, he just, he loves OSU. Valiant's love for his university extends to his many altruistic endeavors. Two endowed scholarships, the Smelser Valiant Basketball Scholarship and the Smelser Valiant Dole Reed Art Scholarship continue his quest to educate the world. His vision for the Dole Reed Center will enrich young artists' lives for years to come, and his benevolence for friends, employees, and family continues. The one trait of Jim that affects me most is his generosity. And as he gets older, which we both are getting older, he still thinks about giving, what he can give to help someone else. That's his whole life, is, you know, work and giving. Generosity has been a running theme throughout Valian's life, but he's also stuck close to his humble roots. To be inducted in the OSU Hall of Fame means the world to Jim. I just think that uh, he is just floored by this. He's probably questioning, knowing Jim, he is so understated that he's saying, oh, I don't deserve it, but he does. He really does. Unending generosity, a compelling passion for OSU, and quiet humility are all traits that make this cowboy worthy of OSU's greatest honor. Jim Valiant, 2017 Oklahoma State University Hall of Fame.